Bioconvergence is a transdisciplinary field that merges biology and engineering, AI, nanomaterials, and it represents the next technological wave that will change and revolutionize the health tech industry. And this is what we're going to talk about. I represent the Israel Innovation Authority. It's a government agency entrusted with supporting sustainable economic growth through innovation. We recognize bioconvergence as a strategic field for building the next economic growth engine in Israel, similar to the ICT, with which Israel has been so successful. Bioconvergence will influence the entire ecosystem, and today we're going to talk to representatives of all sides of the ecosystem. In this panel, we will meet the academic researcher. We will meet a very young startup. We will meet experienced executives. We will hear the point of view of pharma companies, of meta companies, of tech giant, everybody who is responsible for making this field so successful. And we are ready to start. Efiko and Arazi. Your career includes executive positions in biotech and medtech industry. You were CEO of the first bioconvergence investment company in Israel that created such amazing scientific companies like Enospace, NanoRetina, and BlueWind. And now you're back at the beginning with a new startup, bioconvergence startup, of course. Please share with us how this convergence of discipline is changing the health tech. And what are the special challenges yeah. in bioconvergence? Thank you, Anya. Uh, we are indeed uh, living an in exciting time for the healthcare industry. And uh, it does remind me the early years of biotech industry, where we did biotech industry, we did biotech work with genetic engineering, biology, microbiology, biochemistry, and, and, and uh, process engineering. And later, it grew up to become uh, the biotech industry, which is now valued at uh, hundreds of billions of dollars. And they actually delivered very nicely on the promise of, of treating unmet uh, problems, such as multiple sclerosis, uh, cancer, rheumatoid arthritis, uh, bringing the monoclonal antibodies and, and then gene therapy and cell therapy to the market, creating a dramatic change in the healthcare industry. Very similarly, the bioconvergence reality is now being formed, converging different technologies from certain um, academic and industry space to bring the next generation of solutions to the healthcare industry. And what is the promise here? The promise to make a dramatic change in the healthcare system. Everyone, everyone knows that uh, the healthcare budgets in every government now is unsustainable. And the promise here is to affect dramatically the spending of healthcare on healthcare by reducing the cost of hospitalization and treatment. Our aim in, with bioconvergence is to have early detection, early diagnosis, and prevention to avoid treatment and hospitalization. And when you do treat patient, it would be cheaper, more accurate, and more successful. So the promise here to make a big revolution especially in the budgets of healthcare. But bioconvergence is not easy. Nanoretina came up with a science fiction idea 10 years ago of returning sight to blind people. Today it has performed two first implantations in humans. Is it going to be easier for new bioconvergence companies? Of course, we believe that with the convergence of technologies today, we would have started and completed Nanoretina much faster. If you look at nanoretina as a platform, as an artificial retina solution, I can identify at least 12 different technologies that are expressed in that single implant. Today, when we started it, we had to go and search for the solutions that were at that time breakthrough state-of-the-art solutions in different locations around the, around the world. And when we are now have more availability, more accessibility to low-cost, um, high-powered software and technologies and chip manufacturing combined with biological solutions that will enhance, that will simplify, that will make treatment and solution available faster and cheaper. Very good. And uh, another thing about bioconvergence is that 
It is not created by two young entrepreneurs in a garage. Most of the innovation comes out of years of extensive and innovative academic research. Professor Ronit Sachi Fainaro, you had a bioconvergence lab. I'd like to call that bioconvergence mm -hmm. lab at the Sackler School of Medicine in Tel Aviv University. Tell us what it means. Hi. Yes, our lab is composed of actually 30 young scientists that come from different disciplines, from chemistry, biology, computer science, engineering, uh, even architecture. And they all work together on different projects that have common denominators in, in terms of the big idea, the macro. And if we are now trying to develop a cancer vaccine, so we need first the MDs and the surgeons to, to give us a, a little chunk of their tumor. And we need then the biologists to come and, and sequence that uh, tumor, the RNA, and get all the RNA and the proteomics data from that, those tumors and comparisons. Then we need the bioinformaticians to find which antigens are expressed in that tumor. Then we need the engineers and even the architect that will take all this information from the image, from the MRI image, do the image analysis and use a 3D printer to print a mini-me model of those tumors that were a minute, half an hour ago in the, in the brain, for example, of, of a patient. And now after printing it, having, as you can see here, a mini brain that inside there is a melanoma brain metastasis, but we need also the blood vessels. So these blood vessels need to be functional and they need to be co connected to a peristaltic pump with tubes so that we can flow in them all the, the blood, the immune cells, and also the different drugs that we are synthesizing in the lab. And for that, we need the chemists that will synthesize those compounds, going back to the biologists to test them on those models, and hopefully at the end going back to the physician, to the clinical world and, and going to clinical trials. So from bedside to, to bench and back to bedside, this is how we see all these transdisciplines uh, network uh, going on. Bioconvergence indeed. And the exciting thing I think is that you're creating bioconverging platforms that can actually be adapted very quickly to new disciplines. And I find that very interesting. So you're application is cancer. But you were able to move very quickly to use the same platform for COVID-19. Please tell us why it's possible. Right. The, the, this is actually fascinating. It, obviously, if we put on the side the devastating effects in terms of the economy and health and all the other global uh, effects that this pandemic had, in terms of science, all these platforms that we have developed for a very long time, and uh, if I focus on the last five years on this nano vaccine for cancer, the platform is already there, it's ready. All we need to do is switching between antigens, those proteins, small sequences of proteins that are expressed by tumor cells, now go to SARS-CoV-2 and take, for example, the spike, those spikes that are in the corona of the SARS-CoV-2, select by bioinformatics tools the correct sequence and put that instead of the tumor protein. So this allows us to very quickly adapt between different projects moving from cancer to infectious disease because the rationale is the same. It's activating the immune system against a tumor cell or against the protein of a, a virus. The idea is the same, it's sharing the same. It's quite uh, amazing how COVID-19 made everything so much faster. We published a call for proposals for COVID-19 solutions. We received 900 proposals within two weeks, including such amazing mm -hmm. breakthrough research from leading scientists and from startup companies. And Ronen, my next guest, Ronen Ivry, CEO of Barco Diagnostics, you also demonstrated how you can switch very quickly from one application to the other, even in a startup company that's very, very young. Tell us about Barco Diagnostic. Yeah, so Barco Diagnostics uh, is a company in the field of uh, precision medicine. Uh, we work on cancer, and we actually try to find um, the best 
solution, the best drug for each cancer patient. And we do this by using nano, nanomedicine or nanoparticles that we send into the tumor. Um, and uh, we encapsulate inside the nanoparticles uh, the uh, small drugs that go together with molecular barcodes to identify these drugs. And as a startup company, we asked ourselves, how can we help fight uh, with the current knowledge that we have and the exceptional team um, that we have uh, inside the company? And we came up with a diagnostic solution, which is also science-based. Um, so you're, you're talking about moving forward very quickly. Um, we're using uh, the knowledge that we've acquired. We're, we're reading around what's been out, out there in the world. And, uh, and the diagnostic solution we came out for uh, barcode diagnostics is a, is a solution that's based on molecular barcoding. So taking our tags uh, that in cancer are used to identify the different drugs, we can take them and identify uh, the patients. So in this way, we can read and test different um, patients in COVID-19 and uh, tag each individual patient, and then use the barcoding technology to find out who is infected and who is not infected. And this is, I think, how bioconvergence works, is a dynamic of the team, of the company, in our case, of uh, the academic institutions. And I think that's, that's what's um, very exciting about bioconvergence. And Barco Diagnostic also came out of a leading research institution in Israel, so it, we have to mention that. It had. So Barco Diagnostics was established uh, from the lab of Professor Avi Schroeder at the Technion, um, and uh, their ex exceptional work was published, and we founded the company with the help of uh, the Israel Innovation Authority, and we're continuing to grow together both uh, on the scientific side and, uh, and with the help of of the Israeli Innovation Authority. So are you in the trial, in trials already? We're not in trials, but we're uh, expecting to start first in human within 2021. 